everyone, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. I've decided to start a new series called Thrifted Thursdays. Um, I, I get a lot of good comments when I do a thrifted project, so I thought I'd make it, try to make it a little bit more regular. I don't know if I'm gonna do it every Thursday because you know me and life happens and I don't get to it, but I do wanna try, try to do more of these, which is with the price of everything going up and it's just a great way to use something, um, upcycle something, um, and just make, make do with what you have. I found this particular piece, um, and this is gonna be my first project. It is a pillow cover, and it's a quilted pillow cover, a very large, it, it's like 24 inch square, and it, there's, so there's a lot of fabric in it. And I love this color, it's uh, like a celery green color. I know it's not for everybody, but um, and I just, I really like it. And I also thought that the inside was really neat. Um, it, it, you can also see the quilted pattern really well, and it's quilted in green. I don't know if that's gonna show up very well or not on the camera, but it has a neat look to it. So I thought I'm gonna try to use some of that inside, maybe in a, like an embellishment or something. Um, and it has it has that zipper in it already. My initial thought was I was gonna make a bag out of this and see if I could just incorporate that zipper with it. But this is an invisible zipper and it's it's really, it doesn't open very well, it's really hard. I mean, it's great, it's fine for a pillow cover because you don't use that zipper very often, but for a bag, that's just not gonna work. And so I am going to be um, putting a different zipper in it. Um, I really like, this was just a scrap that I had, but I really like these two colors together. And so I do want to make some kind of a, maybe like a leaf design with this or, or some kind of abstract looking thing. And then making a, a maybe like a layered flower with that white. Uh, we'll see. And then there's, this isn't big enough for the lining. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit bigger, but so I'm just gonna use, I have another piece of just a black speckled piece that I'm gonna use for the lining. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoy this. I, um, yeah, it's just gonna be a fun thing. I really, I really love just thrifting and seeing what I can find. And I realize that you're not gonna find this the same piece, but maybe it'll give you some inspiration to um, just an idea of what to look for when you, when you go thrifting. I hope you enjoy this. Let's get started. I'm starting with some deconstruction here. I'm just gonna cut those side seams off. And then I'm also cutting the zipper part off as well. I have the front side of the pillow cover and I just folded it in in half and I'm going to cut this at I believe it's about 15 inches and now I want to just open up that folded edge so I'm going to have two pieces approximately 12 inches by 15 inches and this is what I'm going to create my bag with I just put a couple of those scraps of fabric right on the front of this. And I just have one layer of, of, the, of the quilted fabric now and I'm just placing those pieces on top, just laying them out kind of how I want them and then doing some free motion stitching just to, to get a, a leaf shape. This is very organic and I, I'm not really paying too much attention to the, the exact shape of it. And then going over it twice. And now I'm gonna trim really close to my stitching just to form that leaf shape. And then also cut out some of the inside so that um, the magenta color is exposed. And this is how it looks. I drew out a, a design that I wanted to, to cut the, the white part. Just an easy five petal flower. And I'm gonna be cutting five of these, fev of, of these petals out. And then this little 
oh, at this center, this is not really a circle, it's more of like an oblong shape that I'm gonna just attach. I'm gonna put a pin in each of these petals now and then taking it to my sewing machine and I'm gonna just use my, again, my just a free motion stitch to stitch around um, the different petals. That part is done. And now I've just had this, this wad of fiber and some embroidery floss that I'm gonna use for the center. I'm gonna cover that with a piece of netting. This is just a piece of white netting. I'm cutting a square of that out, laying it on the top, and then taking this back to my sewing machine and I'm going to just do a little circle around this. And that net is going to just um, encase those um, fibers. Clipping that netting off now so I don't have any of those tails on there. And my flower is done. I felt that the back of this was, was just kind of plain and so I'm gonna be adding a large patch pocket to it. Just getting this last piece of this scrap cut the same width. And that pocket is gonna go the full length or full width of this um, bag. I fold it down approximately an inch on the top and I'm gonna put a magnetic snap on that. So I'm just gonna be placing one part of that magnetic snap. Just getting out my trusty little hammer here and hammering those, those um, prongs down. And then I'm gonna stitch this top part. I put two lines of stitching on that and I'm gonna cover both of those. I thought it needed, again, needed more co cover, color and so I just folded down a piece of this magenta fabric, folded both ends and I'm gonna stitch that on. And I stitched all the way around just to base that into place. And now it's for the other side of my snap. I just put that magnetic part right on there so I can get it nice in where I need, need my little holes to be. And just using again, using my scene ripper to poke a couple holes and then poking that snap through that, putting the washer on and again, it's back to my hammer. And my pocket is complete with a snap. Now for the lining, I've cut the same size for the lining as my front, that 12 inches by, by 15 inches. And I wanna add a patch pocket. So I'm just, again, folding down the sides all the way around. And then the top edge, I'll fold down twice, just so that there isn't any raw edges on the top. We'll stitch across the top of that first, and then I'll uh, then I will um, just stitch down the sides of it. I want to box my corners, so I cut an inch and a, and a quarter off of my front, my back, and also my lining pieces. My pockets all sewn on now, and it's onto this zipper. I picked the zipper up at, um, a friend was selling her, a lot of her crafts and had a garage sale. Um, and so I, but it is a separating zipper. And so I thought I would put a tab on, on this on the end. And it's also a zipper that's longer than I need. So I thought it'd be nice just to have that extend off my bag. So I cut a piece of this quilted fabric. I'm gonna fold it so the right sides together and stitch two sides of it and then just getting my fingers in there and poking this out. This was a little bulky. I could have just used that magenta fabric um, and it probably would have been a little bit easier to work with. But I made it, I managed. Now I'm just kind of tucking that top in. We'll give this a little bit of a press. Okay. 
picking up my zipper that I happened to drop and then I'll just stick that end in there and stitch over that a couple of times. And I did have to walk my sewing machine over this. This These teeth look like they're metal, they're not. They are plastic or nylon, but I, but I did walk my sewing machine across that. Now for the strap. I'm gonna be using a couple one and a half inch slides for this. And for my straps, I decided again to use that quilted fabric um, and I surged the edges. Uh, so I did not double it. I thought it would be a too bulky. And so you're going to see the white backing on the on the strap. Um, but I decided to add these tabs, one to the front and then one to the back. Just kind of doubled it over here. And I'm just going to flip that and put one on the back. Kind of in the same position as the front. Just kind of getting it pinning it and then I, I will stitch these into place. I wanted to get this part done before I put that zipper in. I'm just going to stitch on the bottom of each of these. Now on to this zipper. I'm cutting just a little bit off of this end. It just kind of stuck out a little bit too much for me. I'm turning that zipper upside down on the front side of my bag. I use clips for this and I'll stick a clip right at the front there. And then I have my lining fabric and that's going to go on the top. So my Zipper is sandwiched in between and my lining fabric and my is face down. So my right sides are together with that zipper in between and I'm just making sure that everything is up to the top so I can see all three layers. To my sewing machine, I'm just using my zipper foot here. Um, making again making sure that everything is on the right I can see all three of those layers on the right hand side and I'm taking about a quarter of an inch seam here and this is the part that I did make a mistake on um, I should have stopped a half an inch from the from the end here and did a and do and do a little knot or back stitch and left that free just because I have this extending off um and I did not do that and I so I had to I did have to rip a few stitches out once I get my zipper to that point then it's a matter of just ironing this down I just want to make sure that that lining fabric is away from the zipper, getting it all nice and flat, spraying it with some water and then I am just going to be pressing this. Once I get that part done, it's on to doing a top stitch. And I'm going to just top stitch all the way down. And here's where you can see where I did take some stitches out. So I have a half an inch on that side. Now to get the other side of my zipper in, do it the same way. Just making sure everything is lined up on the left hand side. And I will sandwich that zipper in between my my front and my lining. I did put a little mark there so I didn't forget to leave that half inch. And the zipper is in and I've, I've ironed it and I've top stitched that side. I'm 
Now to sew up my side seams and my bottom. Just putting some clips and some pins in. So I have my bag on one side and my lining on the other side. And that zipper, I'm going to face towards the lining. You can really see the line or that zipper there. It's it's facing towards the lining and just making sure it's all nice and even. And now it's to stitch all the way across the bottom and to the side seams. I do want to leave my bottom of my lining open or a, 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 an opening of, above, of about six inches or so. Just gonna sew that, just the end of that bottom line of the lining and leave that opening. We're almost there. I do want to box my corners. Just kind of finger pressing those seams open and taking a, a, half, a, qu a quarter of an inch seam allowance on those corners. Now it's to turn it all in, into inside or right sides out all the way through that lining opening. Poking out my, my corners as I go. Turning that lining in and just that opening and giving that a little bit of a press. And I'll take that to my sewing machine and I will stitch that closed. It's all done. I've got my lining pushed in. There's just a little bit of an opening here where I op that left that half inch. And I'm just going to stitch that. I'll probably stitch that by hand. For the strap, I cut two one and a half inch by the, the whole width of that pillowcase cover, which was 24 inches. And I mitered that corner and I surged the edges of my strap. So you can see there, I surged the edges and just put that right on through that same slide. Put a slide um, also right on, onto the strap so that it is adjustable. Kind of feeding that back through. and then stitching those down. And here's some pictures at the end, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. I just I thought it turned out great. It was just a fun way to turn something into something. Have a great week, everybody. Bye for now.